It's, it's tough to describe actually, um, uh, only because um, you know, you're, you're focused on the process of winning six games and getting that gold medal. And once it's happened, it's almost, it's not an anti-climax, but it's just then that, that time in between where you you're, you take time to, to think about what's just happened. I know we're Olympic champions and double world champions, which is pretty cool. It will slowly seep in, I think. The tournament did go according to plan. We wanted to win all six games. And when we got into the Olympic Games Village, we stayed very, very tight as a team. We took out all distractions. We flew in very late and we minimized any possible interruptions to our program. I think we did it better than anybody else. Phones were, were, were shut down and locked away. Uh, and we just concentrated on the task at hand again and, and delivered. We knew Brazil would come firing out 100 miles an hour in the first game they did and they got that try that raised the, raised the roof in the Diodora. We knew we'd have a very, very hard game against Argentina, who I'd said I think would medal, and they were very unlucky not to. And the USA are a gritty side, and they were playing for their lives. A, a loss to us knocked them out of the competition. Didn't expect necessarily to play New Zealand, but then you have to expect the unexpected in big competitions. We were tougher than them, harder than them in the breakdowns. And in the semi-final, we got the job done. And we still had stuff left for the final, and that's where we cut loose and, and put in our best performance probably of the year. In that first half, we were imperious. We were untouchable and without, again, sounding arrogant, it didn't really matter who was opposite us with that performance that we put in, we would have beaten anyone. GB, Japan, New Zealand all defended the same way, so we almost had a practice run going into that final of what we were going to try and do. We knew we had to be relaxed going into this. We had to rest. We were determined to play the Fijian way in the final, and to do that, I had to be true to our values and how we were going to be going into that so there was no crying or jumping up and down in the, in the changing room. We said a few things uh, that we'll keep between the team and then they ran out and they were absolutely brilliant, focused and um, forward thinking in what they were trying to do on the field. We play on our feet, we find opportunities on our feet going forward, keeping the ball alive. We practice this game so much, we take the breakdown out of it, therefore the referee and the opposition and we flow. It helps the game, it makes it a more beautiful game, it tests your skills, your fitness, your finesse, your timing, your ability to read a game. It's about playing with a bit of artistry and a bit of genius and a bit of intelligence. Sort of things that are really good for sport, uh, the way you want to play. Creatively let players roam free, have a very simple framework that they adhere to and outside of that they play what's in front of them, what's around them, what's behind them. And that's the Fijian way.